Okay, here's a quick update of what I've been doing on my guitar. I uh, just bandsawed all these pieces out. What I'm doing now is truing up the uh, edge that the fretboard's going to be glued on this side here. You got it getting it pretty good. This side here, this part right here where it dips off, I'm not worried about that because I'm going to route the pickup area right in there. When it, see, this is the piece that goes into the body here. You can kind of look at it from the side and kind of see what it what I'm talking about. The bottom side here, I'm going to radius that off anyway, so uh, it doesn't have to be perfect at this point. But mainly what I want to do is I want to glue all these five pieces I cut out together. It's going to be stacked up to about three and an eighth inches, uh, somewhere around there, maybe three and a quarter. Um, and that what that does, that gives me enough room to uh, cut the profile once I stack all these pieces you know side by side like this you know right beside each other uh, and glue them up then uh, that'll give me you know a width that I could draw the headstock out on and then draw the taper down you know along the uh, neck you know so it kind of give a little better example here I'll take two of these well, on one side and if I do this, then I'm going to have this qu uh, quarter inch oak in the middle, well, like that, and then on the other side over here, two more pieces just like this are going to be over here. That'll make my build up of my neck. And they say if you can squeeze in the, uh, and there's no gap in between, I don't have it yet, but that kind of looks better. But anyway, uh, if you can squeeze with your hand with pressure and uh, you know not have a gap then that means it's good for glue up and uh, these pieces came plain pretty good so I may not have a lot to do whenever I do get to that stage anyway uh, the guitar body is over here and I was using this block with some sandpaper to go around the edges and this is going to be a beautiful body you can't see it now but there's some place around here where I had got it to where you could see the grain pretty good it looked really good the other day oh, right in here it's starting to grain starting to come out pretty good anyway uh, what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that's you can see where there's low spots and high spots and that sort of thing all the way around so I'm just getting that treat up really good and the last thing I have on it at this point is of course what I glued up the other day and this isn't may not be exactly the profile here that I'm going to have, but what I did, I just did that, you know, just to kind of know that I had enough, uh, you know, that I could, uh, when I glue it up, I could still route off and still have, you know, enough room. But I'm going to uh, line this center point up, that center point up on that end with the uh, center points on the seam of the body as well. And I'll glue them, get them, you know, both, both surfaces flush. Uh, glue them, put the top on, you know, glue it, and then uh, clamp it like crazy, and let it dry probably overnight. It'll probably good in an hour or two, but uh, I just always like to let everything sit overnight and dry at least, uh, you know, just to be safe. So anyway, that's what's going on in my Les Paul build. I finally got a chance to get back out here for a little bit. So anyway, that's it.